Iowa's deadliest disaster, the Armistice Day Blizzard, prepare to be transported back to a chilling moment in history when Iowa faced its deadliest disaster, the infamous Armistice Day Blizzard of 1940. This was a tempest like no other, a relentless onslaught of nature that would forever change the heartland of America. The storm that shook a nation. On November 11, 1940, as the world geared up to commemorate Armistice Day, now Veterans Day, Iowa and the upper Midwest found themselves basking in an unseasonably mild fall. But little did they know that an unforgiving monster of a storm was lurking on the horizon. In a matter of hours, the tranquil landscape transformed into a frozen wasteland. Snowfall totals soared to over two feet, creating monstrous drifts that reached up to a staggering 20 feet in depth. The very air itself became a weapon, with winds howling between 50 and 80 miles per hour. Hunters in awe, nature unleashed. Unsuspecting hunters drawn to their favorite duck shooting spots by ideal conditions marveled at the incredible numbers of birds that soared before the approaching tempest. The day had begun with temperatures in the 50s, lulling many into a false sense of security. Meteorologists had predicted a minor disturbance, but the storm had other plans. As the day wore on, rain turned into heavy snow and winds reached a fevered pitch. Visibility plummeted to zero, and the rivers, including the mighty Mississippi, transformed into raging seas with swells towering up to 15 feet. Hunters, caught off guard by the merciless storm, faced a grim fate. Many drowned, others succumbed to the bone-chilling cold, and only a fortunate few found refuge on Channel Islands, though not without paying the price lost hands and feet as severe frostbite set in. Impact on Iowa's agriculture. The Armistice Day blizzard left an indelible mark on Iowa's agricultural landscape. Once a major fruit growing state, Iowa's nationally prominent apple industry was decimated as icy winds raised entire orchards. Facing the daunting task of rebuilding slow growing orchards, Many farmers made the difficult choice to shift their focus towards commodity grains like corn and soybeans. Livestock, too, bore the brunt of the storm, with many farmers reporting significant losses that would echo through the generations. Join us as we delve into this chilling chapter of Iowa's history, a tale of tragedy and resilience that etched itself into the very fabric of the heartland. Don't forget to like, Share and subscribe for more gripping tales of history's trials and triumphs.